Model number one is Lauren. In the beginning of her transformation, <laughs> let's just call it step one. Using the peak of her eyebrows as her guide on both sides, what we're going to do is use zigzag partings up into the crown of her head, including the temple area as we prepare to pre light A lot of insightful stuff in there. We're gonna do some color, we're gonna do some haircuts. Um, we're gonna talk about some marketing, we're gonna talk about advertising, we're gonna talk about what it takes. Um, we're also gonna talk about like the mindset of like hairdressers today. Um, a lot of young hairdressers, they're not really ready, they're not aggressive nor assertive. Talent ain't got nothing to do with um, profitability, you know. Use a pre-lightener of your choice and a developer. Remember this though, you have to always check the integrity of the hair for your clients that way. That way you understand you're the professional. Let your client know if they're a good candidate for color or pigmented color or not. Remember, use a pre-lightener of your choice, a developer of your choice. But in picking these things, make sure that your client is a good candidate for color if they wear a relaxer. And don't be, don't make a mistake. Just because a client doesn't wear a relaxer does not mean that they're a good candidate for color. There are people out there that just can't do chemicals, period. Remember, you're the professional. Keep that in mind. I am Joe Edwards, I'm the CEO of Joe Edwards Salon. I'm a platform artist, educator, entrepreneur. I've traveled around the world teaching classes for major companies. Haircutting techniques, that's my thing. That's what I enjoy to do. I love music. I also just really love to help women look beautiful, enhancing their beauty. I'm also a makeup artist. As I apply a pre-lightener in a vertical fashion as opposed to a horizontal, it'll give the color more of a natural look and it'll soften the hard lines of demarcation. Let me give you one footnote. Zigzag partings also help soften the lines of our color. It gives it more of a flow as well. You'll see that later on as we finish. Stumbling up into this business was the best thing that can ever happen. Again, I've traveled all over the world. I've worked for major, major companies um, and really just had a good time. I just accidentally get paid for this stuff, um, but I do love the money. Um, so uh, a person who works hard, uh, my average day starts at about five o'clock in the morning and it ends about 9.30 at night. A lot of things about myself, I'm just kind of like a guy who just likes to have fun. I don't think I can find myself doing anything else. as the process continues. Now the process of pre-lightening has continued. We've rinsed her out. At this point, we're going to comb the hair from ends to scalp as I prepare to apply the pigmented color of my choice. Again, remember, you're the professional. Sometimes it's great to kind of put your client on the edge and create some fun color for them. But you always remember, consider their lifestyle and consider their personality and also consider the shape of their head.
understanding with relaxers and colors what makes a good candidate. I have to stress that point. You cannot just take a person who has a relaxer and just apply permanent color. Sometimes with your clients, permanent colors and relaxers just don't mix. Look as the process continues. I'm applying my color with a vertical application and continue with this process until the hair is properly covered. Color. Color is one of the biggest things that I like, enjoy getting paid off of. You know, learning, learning the basics of color was one of the major things in the industry. It was kind of like a turning point for me. When I was a hairdresser a few years ago, when I just used that one color that always looked healthy, it was black. And then learning the fundamentals of color were the things that kind of changed my life and, and kind of helped me figure out, hey, there's a lot more money in this industry than I thought. Then also experiencing and hanging around different hairdressers in a different tax bracket than myself. If you want to be broke, hang around broke people. So I started hanging around people who kind of made me feel intimidated as a stylist and as a professional. And I realized that I have my license just like these individuals, but I need to know what they knew. So being a person that I, as I grew up, I always knew what I didn't know. 